Hi church, it is hard to believe, but the day has finally arrived. After being six years, literally, in the making, we will finally be approving a contract for a vendor to install an HVAC system in the sanctuary. This is the first phase of our capital campaign, and so I wanted to provide some historical context leading up to this project before we approve it on the January 8th congregational meeting. This actually dates way before six years, when the sanctuary was first being built in the 1950s. At that time, a lot of infrastructure was put into place for an HVAC system, ductwork and vents and air circulation system, but it was never brought to completion because of a lack of funds at that time. Fast forward many years later to August 2016. When Pastor Jen and I first came to Claremont UCC, we heard from folks a joke that in the summers, people worship at other churches in town than Claremont UCC. We thought that was funny, but then we quickly realized that there were major health concerns at play. We talked with congregation members who told us they simply can't come to worship during the summers. Maybe they were unable to regulate their internal body temperature, or they wore various body braces and the heat made it uncomfortable to be in the sanctuary, or they were expectant mothers who were getting sick, and we had a few instances of elderly folks fainting during the service because of the heat. And so we knew that we had to do something. It became the number one complaint from visitors. They would come to us after the service and, and they thought our HVAC system was just broke. They would say, uh, hey, it was really hot in here today. Is your air conditioning not working? And we had to tell them, you know what? We actually don't have air conditioning. And so we put together a task force in 2017 to start looking into this issue. And we wanted to explore every possible option before going to an HVAC system because we knew the challenges that would come with a project of that magnitude. And so we explored every idea imaginable. We got together and said, what would it look like to paint the roof of the church wider? What if we hosted six back-to-back -back services in the chapel? We wanted to look into what physical or mechanical solutions there were for some sort of passive cooling system so that we didn't have to move to an HVAC. And so we hired the Claremont Environmental Design Group to look at possibilities, look at the infrastructure that was in place, and they came back and said, you know, here are some possibilities, but the reality is you will never cool the sanctuary to a temperature that is both comfortable and safe for those who have health concerns without pursuing an HVAC system. And so we spent a few years looking at these passive cooling systems, and so that's what has taken this task force these six years, is, is we spent several years just looking at passive cooling systems. And when it was finally very obvious to the task force that we had to pursue an HVAC system, we decided, you know what, it's time to have a capital campaign. Churches usually have them every seven to 10 years. It had been 16 years since Claremont UCC had launched one. And so we put together another team to look at what capital campaign projects were needed, talk to folks in the congregation to receive their feedback, and put together a list of six projects that we wanted to pursue, the first one being an HVAC system in the sanctuary. And so then that's when we went into another year of design work. We contracted with Goss Engineering, a very reputable firm in the area, to put together the design work. They made sure that they maintained the architectural significance of the church as a historical building. And so this HVAC system takes all of that into consideration. And then they put together the design, and then we got the approval from the city, and then we went out to bid. And we wanted, before we went into our second round of bidding, we've done this twice now, uh, to make sure that we had an airtight contract. And, and so a team of people worked really, really hard. So thank you to our moderator team. Thank you to our Board of Building and Grounds, chaired by Bob Perry. Thank you to many other volunteers on the task force who have put in countless hours to make sure this contract was airtight, that it was vetted by a legal team, and that it was ready to go. And so we received our bids, we looked through them, uh, we have a, a project manager who's a member of our congregation who does this kind of work full time, it's his occupation, thank you Gordon Maynard, who helped interview these um, organizations along with uh, a moderator, Rita Dixon, um, and, and it got it and so we're like, okay, LA Air, that's the vendor to go with. 
And so we took the contract. The contract was then approved by our board of building and grounds and then by our board of stewardship and finance and then by our church council. And so has gone through all the approval processes that, to then bring to our congregation. So as we look at this contract together, we want you to know that it has been a long six-year process of looking into so many possibilities of knowing this is the path to go to make sure that our sanctuary is a safe and comfortable place to worship and that this is a contract and a vendor that we can trust to do this really big project. So I'm going to make a second video for you to watch that talks about how we're going to be funding this project with our capital campaign funds. But we look forward to um, starting to move on our first project. And it's going to take a long time because of shipping issues in the pandemic. Um, it takes 42 weeks um, for all of the equipment to get here. So uh, we need to approve this project just to have a year um, before it's going to be finally installed. But I, I find such great pleasure and joy in knowing that something that has been in the work since the 1950s is being brought to completion by this congregation at this time with these people. So thank you for all of your work. If you have any questions about this project, we encourage you to come to our informational meeting that's going to be the week of the congregational meeting. Information is in this email. And ask all of your questions. That way we can be uh, ready to approve together on the 8th. So feel free to reach out with any questions you might have. Thanks, church.